How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews. Back with a little bit of a... Yeah, a little bit of a... Saucy. Barley wine hopeful goodness. In the form of Cigar City Brewing. It is their excessive and lustful kissing. This is an American whiskey and rye whiskey aged barley wine ale. With cherries and vanilla added. Oh, buddy. I'm getting in the deep here. Oh... Oh, oh, look at that. This comes off. So delicious, like. Um, yeah, uh, this is not the first Cigar City beer we'll be doing, nor the last. But this one comes courtesy of Jason from Pony Craft Beers. Uh, dude hooked it up, uh, sent a whole bunch of beers off. Mystery beers, non-mystery beers, the whole nine. But hooked it up with a bunch of Cadador Club based Bali wines and this one is looking all the parts of the bits and pieces of what I love about barley wine for so first off label wise there's like this weird kind of like um, like uh, black exploitation kind of 70s look to this um, very kind of a uh, Jackie Brown kind of thing going on so I kind of dig that and as far as the barley wine goes I mean it kind of looks the part be perfectly honest with you rich kind of um uh, brown kind of almost doo-doo level core it's not that murky not that dense it has a, a bit of clarity to it at least on the edges which definitely looks the part of a rich delicious barley wine it's got a nose i mean it's sugar daddies i mean this has been a running theme with a lot of these kind of scar city beers you're getting that whiskey component. You're getting that soft, spicy rye component. But you're getting this rich kind of caramel, date figgy, kind of sugar daddy. Almost to the raisin any portion of the show. Barley wine kind of vibe. So rich brown sugars. A caramelized brown sugar. A little bit of soft molasses. That soft, pruny raisin component that is just kind of gobs and and, and and you want in in, in a nice well aged well done kind of barley wine i mean this is exactly where i want my barley wines to lean i mean they're talking about here there's an addition of vanilla and cherries it's not really coming off as like a big fruity component in there um like the cherries are like a sweetened cherry or a candy cherry or the vanilla is like a sweetened vanilla or an added vanilla. It's more like the vanilla is coming from the barrel. The cherries are coming from the bourbon. So it's almost like you're getting that spirit portion of show, whether it be the rye or the bourbon. And then you get that kind of barrel portion of show that usually elicits that kind of gives you those vibes of kind of vanilla or marshmallow or coconut. It, it, it's just accentuating that and making it a little bit more vibrant. And I think that's where the trick kind of lies and it makes you think that the beer's a little bit more aged than it actually is. So yeah, let's dive in. Cheers. Booze comes off a little bit hot. You know, that whiskey, that bourbon, that whiskey comes off a little bit tinge of hot. It's not a bad thing. It lets you know you're drinking like a beer of substance, a beer of oomph. The weird kind of trick your brain kind of plays when you add that combination of those cherries, of that vanilla is that it makes you think it's an older beer. So you're getting just gobs and gobs of those sugar daddy vibes. So you're like, okay, this beer has age on it, but then you get that little pop of heat on the other end of things that's letting you know that you're drinking a bigger beer, but you wouldn't necessarily get that pop of heat if it was an older beer. And if it was not an older beer, you wouldn't get those sugar daddy vibes. So that's where it kind of plays a trick in your mind to where you expect this to have a decent amount of age on it just from like a visceral i don't know what i'm drinking like if you you went into this blind you'd be like i, I, I kind of think this is an older beer but the heat makes me think it's newer but the, the the flavors that are developed that rich sugar daddy thing that that kind of rich borderline not there yet but could see you kind of verging into the umami portion of the show that's the cool trick is that it's like ping-ponging back and forth making you think that it's age but it's not that it's age it's not 
listen, this is like, I think, number four or four that I've had of these Cigar City barley wines. And all of them are fantastic. I mean, absolutely amazing. I mean, this is some of the better barley wine that's out there when it comes to barley wine and just in general. Um, you know, I've had some good ones, you know, from various breweries, from old school breweries, whether it be Jelly B. Lee's or Thomas Hardy or Old Stock to New School, you know, whether it be Cigar City or Perennial or things like that, or even Homebrew, whether it be the the, 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 the Brew Lahan and uh, Brewster Ales kind of collab. Some been some really good barley wine floating around there nowadays and it, it, it just a testament to to a style that a lot of people kind of like oddly enough kind of pump up and talk about being something they love but rarely show and prove you know you have the whole ddb thing about barley wine is life and all that ha 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 i love barley wine but rarely do people actually like it let alone love it this is kind of a kind of the reason why you should like it or love it because it's just that well done that um that that deep that multi-layered at the same time just being viscerally delicious it's that fun thing so so sometimes you know you want that shitty big mac or Stouffer's pizza or some kind of shittily made food that just tastes good you don't have to think about it but then you want something developed and has layers and is just nuanced and you love that this is the trick this is pulling both of those things off. You're getting that knee jerk, that visceral reaction of deliciousness. At the same time, just getting layered, awesome, complex deliciousness. I'm a fan. I've been saying that a lot as of late, but, you know, at my defense, you know, people have been sending me a lot of their favorite beers as of late. So, you know, the life that is me, the struggle. It's all the real. So anyway, let's talk about it. Is this one of the better barley wines I've had as of late? Yes. I mean, I can almost put all of these Cigar City barley wines up there in King Shit of Fuck Mountain. I could put them up in the Mount Rushmore. I might have to. We'll see what's what, but in the grand scheme of things, this is awesome. Valued availability, no idea. Maybe Jason or anybody out there in the FL can let us know what's what and leave you with if you like what we like this beer. If you like good beer, if you like barley wine, if you like English barley wine, if you like toffee, raisinets, and sugar daddies, you will like this beer. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer massive. Want to check me out doing the social media stuff? I already said that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed your review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice little barley wine light right now. Hope to see you next time. Cheers.